group 18 elements group 18 uh, is also called noble gas uh, noble gas uh, they are the last group in the periodic tables and they're also known as inert gas uh, that is because they do uh, they are non-reactive eh? okay and they do not react with any other elements okay uh, let's see the periodic tables okay this is the periodic tables and a uh, group 18 is here this is group 18 eh? this is group 18 now uh, in our syllabus uh, you need to memorize the first four okay you need to memorize the first four elements okay uh, which one is the first one which one is the second one and third and the fourth eh? okay and the last two, you need to know their applications, uh, xenon and radon. You need to know the applications of xenon and radon, which we are going to discuss later. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, group 18. Let's go back to the slide. Yeah? Group 18 elements. So this group consists of six elements, uh, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Eh? Okay. You need to memorize the first four. And for the last two, you need to know their applications or their uses. Eh? Okay. Now, group 18, they are non-metallic, means uh, they are non-metal, eh? they are non-metals, and then uh, they have no color, colorless at room temperature, and they have very low melting point and boiling points, and therefore they are gases, so all of these are gases, okay, all of these are gases, because they have very low melting points and very low the boiling point, okay, and uh, they form about 1% of the air, okay, uh, that is the air in the atmosphere, they form a 1% of the air, and uh, most of them are uh, argon, eh? okay, most of them are argons in atmosphere. And this is the physical properties, eh? physical properties from helium to radon, so this is the proton number, and uh, this is the electrons arrangement. Now from the electrons arrangement, we can see that eh? all of the elements eh? in group 18, you see they have 8 electrons, eh? except the first one, okay, they have 8 electrons in the last shell okay and for your information those elements has uh, those elements have eight electrons in the last shell are very very stable eh? chemically very very stable and uh, chemically very very stable means that they do not react with other elements okay so because the outermost shell eh, the outermost shell is full with electrons eh? two and eight electrons okay so they are very very stable eh? Two and eight electrons for the first one is two electrons for the others uh, there are eight electrons uh, and they are very very stable okay so chemically uh, they are very stable and then uh, the melting points uh, we can see that uh, down the group eh, from the first one to the last one the melting point okay what do you think do you think the melting point is increasing or decreasing from here down the group from helium to radons increase right okay they increase uh, Boiling point also increase, uh, and then from, from here we can see that uh, even radons uh, has the highest uh, melting points and uh, boiling points. Uh, uh, the melting points and boiling point is still much lower than the room temperature. Okay, means that there are gas uh, at room temperature. Okay, there are a few things that you need to memorize. Okay, as I, I told you just now, you need to memorize the first four element, and then you need to uh, know you need to know the electrons arrangements of the first three. Uh, 2, 2, 8, 2, 8, 8, okay? And the last three actually is uh, not important, okay? The electrons arrangement. But you need to know that they have uh, eight valence electrons, okay? All of them has uh, have eight valence electrons except the first one, okay? Mm -hmm. Size of atom. Uh, the size of atom increases down the group due to the increase of uh, electron shell, okay? From here, we can see that the electron shell increase. Uh, one shell, this one has two shells, three shells, four shells, five shells, and six shells, right? Okay, so the number of shells increase. Eh? And uh, when the number of shells increase, the uh, size of the atoms increases. Eh? Okay, so the size of atom increases down the group because uh, the number of uh, electron shell increase. Solubility and conductivity. Now, they are non-metal. Eh? Okay, they are non-metals. And uh, for non-metals, uh, uh, they are uh, uh, very weak uh, conductors. Okay, uh, very poor conductors. Eh? They are insoluble in water. Okay, all noble gases, uh, they are insoluble in water. Unlike uh, oxygens, uh, oxygens are soluble in water, carbon dioxide also soluble in water. But noble gases, they are insoluble in water. They are not conductors of heat and electricity. As I told you just now, they are very poor conductors. Uh, okay. The next thing is the melting points and boiling points. Just now, we uh, from the tables, uh, 
Just now from the tables, we have learned that the, the melting points and the boiling points of these noble gases increases down the group, right? Okay, from the first uh, to the last elements increase. Eh? Okay, so the melting points and uh, boiling points are very low. And then uh, now why the melting points and boiling points are very low? Because they exist as monoatoms. Eh? Now, what does it mean by monoatom? Monoatoms means that uh, in the gas, each particle is just one atom. Like for example, it's helium. Eh? Helium, they're just H-E. Eh? Neon, just N-E. That's all, okay? Just uh, one atom. Eh? Unlike oxygen, eh? oxygen is a diatomic molecule, okay? Or hydrogen, okay? Hydrogen is a diatomic molecule. Therefore, when we write the formula, we write O2, H2, eh? okay? Uh, nitrogen also, eh? okay? Diatomic molecule. So we write the uh, N2, eh? okay? So that this is diatomic molecule, but uh, noble gases they are just monoatoms, uh, monoatomic uh, gas. We call it monoatomic gas. Means that each particle just one atom. Because they are the monoatoms, uh, so therefore the force between uh, the particles, uh, like for example helium, uh, helium between helium and helium there is a force. Okay, uh, the force between these particles. Non non metals, uh, the force between the non metal particle is called the van der Waal force. Okay, force between the particle is called the van der Waal force. Uh, let's label here. It's right here. This is van der Waal force. Uh. Van the Waal. Van der Waal's force. Okay. Now this van der Waal force, the strength depends on the numbers of electrons in the particles uh, or the size of the particles. The smaller the particles, the weaker the force. Okay. Now since there are mono atom, uh, just one atom, and therefore the force is very weak. Yeah, the force is very weak, and therefore the meltings and boiling point is very weak. Eh? Okay. So noble gases exist as mono atoms, and the force between all these atoms is the weak when the wall force. Eh? It's very uh, very weak force. Okay. And uh, since the force is very weak, so we just need uh, a little energy uh, to overcome this force during meltings and boiling, and therefore the melting points and boiling point is very low. Uh, you need to know this uh, because sometimes in exam they may ask you to explain uh, why the melting point and boiling point of group 18 elements are very low. Okay, then you need to tell because they are the monoatoms, and uh, when the wall force between the particles are very weak, and very little energy is needed to overcome this force. Just now we learned that the melting point and boiling point increases down the group, right? Okay. Why the melting point and uh, boiling point increases down the group? Okay, you need to know this. Eh? Okay, this is very important. Uh, explanations. Eh? Okay. Uh, that is because the size of the atoms increases down the group from uh, the first one. Uh, let's say helium. Helium is very small. Okay. And then the neon is bigger. Okay. And then the argons even bigger okay so the size of the atoms increases down the group that's the first point and i as i told you just now the force in between the particles are van der Waal force and the one the wall force uh is strange depends on the size of the particles okay so when the size of the atom increase the strength of the van der Waal force will also increase eh? okay because when the wall force depends on the size of the particles, eh? and when the when the wall force uh, increases, the more energy is needed to overcome the force eh? during meltings and boiling, and therefore uh, the melting points and boiling point is high, be uh, is higher okay down the group. So this is the explanations. Uh, this is true for when the wall force, eh? true for when the wall force, eh? because when the wall force depends on the size of the particles, eh? but if the force it's not when the wall falls down, then you cannot use these ex, uh, explanations. Uh. For example, for metal, for metals, the force in between the particle is not when the wall falls. If it's not when the wall falls, then you cannot, you cannot use this to explain. Uh. You cannot say, oh, because the size particle becomes bigger and therefore uh, the force becomes stronger. Cannot. Uh. This is only for when the wall falls. This is important. Okay? Uh, it comes out uh, quite frequent in exam. Sometimes they ask in a uh, group 18 and sometimes they ask in group 17. For group 17 also the explanation is the same. Eh? Group 17 also down the group uh, the melting points and boiling point increase and the explanation is the same as this one. Density, okay. So densities of noble gases are very low 
and uh, but the density increases uh, down the group why the density increases down the group now first of all we need to know the formula for density eh? formula for density mass over volume that's correct mass over volume eh? okay so density is equal to mass over volume now down the group eh? okay go down to the group eh? the mass will increase and the volume also increase okay down the group both the mass increase eh? and both of the mass and the volume increases okay now when the mass increase and volume increase eh? but the mass increase more than the volume okay the mass increase more than the volume maybe uh the mass uh, the increase uh, times two and then the volume just times 1.8 okay so the mass increase more than the volume and this cause this cause the density to increase okay so down the group both the mass and volume increases uh, but the mass increases faster or more than the volume and therefore the density will uh, increase okay so down the group both the mass and the volume increase but increase of mass is faster than the volume hence densities increases down the group and uh, you also need to know this eh? okay you need to know this because in exam sometimes they may ask you why in group 18 actually in group 1 group 17 groups uh, 18 also the same eh? they will ask you why the density increases down the group and uh, the explanation is the same okay uh, down the group both the mass and volume increase but the increase of mass is higher or faster than the volume okay and therefore the density increase okay so this is the explanations uh, all noble gases uh, are non-reactive elements means that they do not react with any other element eh? okay uh, why because their valence shell is full okay the first shell two electrons full already and the other shells eight electrons full okay so that's why they are very very stable and uh, in the chemical world, eh, an atom is in the chemically most stable state if their valence is uh, the valence shell is full, right? Eh? Either eight electrons or two electrons for the first shell. Okay, so that is the explanation. So, because in the exam they may ask you why, uh, why group 18's elements are chemically non-reactive? Why? Okay, then you must tell. Okay, because their valence shell is uh uh two electrons or eight electrons okay and actually we have a name for this uh, eight electrons we call it octet uh. eight electrons we call it octet they have octets arrangements of electrons uh. and uh the two electron is called duplet okay we are going to learn this in next chapter chemical bond octet and duplet uh. okay they have octet and duplet arrangements of electron and therefore they are uh, chemically most stable okay so they do not react with other elements and um, so uh, as a result they exist as single atoms uh, and uh, they are monoatoms mo monoatomics uh, 